Hey y'all, it's Trees here again of Simone Lynette Styles. So let me just backtrack and tell you a little bit about me if this is your first time watching. So first off, thank you for clicking on this video um, and having this time with me, right? So number one, again, I'm Trees of Simone Lynette Styles. And I am a personal stylist, right? So if you don't already know um, what that is or why I chose to go into that field, don't forget to check out my intro video um, so you can see why I chose to help serve mamas to help us all reclaim our identities um, so that we can live our lives authentically and passionately. All right, so let's get started in this video, okay? So we've been going on this um, body shape journey, right, in this series. And so last week, I talked to you guys about the inverted triangle, right? So that's the upside down triangle where your shoulders are wider or much broader than your hips, right? And so you have that angle or that narrowness that happens within your hips. Um, compared to your shoulders, which means you don't really have a clear waist, right, or any hips. Um, however, this week, don't forget to check out that video too. Ooh, I almost missed that. Don't forget to check out um, the video from last week about the inverted triangles, okay? So this week, now, we are talking about um, the rectangle body shape, okay? So that's for my mamas who got the up and down okay your waist your hips your shoulders all that's the same the waist is bam just like that so <laughs> what it means to be a rectangle that just means that your um, shoulder measurements again with your waist measurements again with your hips those measurements are aligned and they're pretty much the same um, some people do refer to the rectangle body shape as the athletic body shape, um, but we're going to call it the rectangle for now, okay? So, some of the things that you want to avoid as a rectangle shape, right, because you're straight up and down, is you want to avoid any like square necklines, kind of like what I have on now. Um, any straight necklines, you want to avoid those. You want to avoid too uh, fitted of a sleeve. You know, those sleeves that just hugs your whole arm. You want to avoid those kind of things. Um, you also want to avoid having too big of your clothes, right? So I know the oversized look is in, okay? I get it. I get it for sure. But I'm not like judging everybody who's wearing it, okay? Like it is what it is. It's cute. Wish I could do it. Can't do it. It's cute though. So any like too large or too oversized for a rectangle shape is going to leave you looking shapeless. Okay. So make sure you're uh, avoiding too much of that. I mean, you can do it. Not saying you can't. There's no, nobody saying what you can't do. But just for the rectangles who want to create the curve and create the shape, you want to avoid more of the oversized looks. Um, you want to avoid wearing prints and colors completely all over, right? Bright colors is what I meant. Not just any color, but bright colors, right? So even if you are wearing those, well, you know what? I'll get to that at the do. Right now we're talking about the do, okay? <laughs> so you also want to avoid... Um, too much embellishments at the waist. Um, you want to avoid tucking in your tops, tucking in your shirts. You want to avoid those things. Um, you want to avoid anything that's shapeless, any of the like boxy cuts. You want to avoid those. Again, you're already up and down. You're already boxy. Why would you go out and buy a boxy shirt? Okay. It's not going to help you. No boxy shirts, no boxy dresses, none of that. Just leave the box alone. Okay. <laughs> you want to avoid any um, fitted trousers. You want to avoid too extreme of a flare as well. Um, and with like skirts and dresses, you want to avoid too much fullness, right? So like the ball gown kind of look you kind of want to steer clear from because it's going to make you not really look curvy, but more like just bottom heavy. Okay. All right. So now that I gave you the don'ts, 
let's talk about some of the do's okay so some of the things that you do want to do because remember you are trying to add dimension and add more curve to your body shape so you mainly want to make sure you're focusing on defining your waist okay so defining your waist looks like wearing belts um, especially if you have on like a dress or even like a nice trench coat like any of those um, longer full body looks you want to make sure you're keeping it belted if you're wearing like a jumpsuit or something like that doing it belted will look awesome unless like your top half has like some tears or some pleats or something going on then you may want to may not want to do a belt but typically you want to um, define the waist by adding something that is belted or the nipped in at the waist garments like peplums as well peplums are my favorite they're pretty much good for everybody's type but anyway all right back to the dudes <laughs> so back to the bright colors and the bright prints okay it's okay to do that not saying that you can't but again you want to create the illusion of having a curvier waist so instead of just doing straight up all print make sure you break it up at your waist by adding something neutral and dark so you can have i mean if you have on a leopard print dress cool i'm sure it's cute add a little belt to it add you just a plain black or plain brown um belt around your waist is just gonna break it up a little bit so we can visually see some curves happening okay it's always gonna create a nice curve line when you add that belt in between bright colors and bright prints okay something else that you want to do as a rectangle is wearing more of a round neck instead of the square like what i have on here so if i was to like pull it down bam round neck something a little bit more like that um you want to make sure that you're again wearing sleeves that have more of a flare so i know my sleeves got a lot going on and i got it pulled up so really they're long but you want to have something that have more of a flare um and some kind of detailing to your sleeve and that way again visually it just automatically creates more of a curve when you have your sleeves down um by your waist okay when you're shopping for sweaters and trying on sweaters you want to wear sweaters that end at the hip or a little bit longer okay so again kind of avoiding that crop top look because most crop tops are again boxy anyway um so you want to kind of avoid that look because you're not helping create that um curvier shape by wearing something like that so don't cut yourself off at the waist you have to either elongate it or make sure that you're belting it or doing something to define the waist all together. When it comes, when it comes to um, jeans or trousers, you want to make sure that you're wearing like a nice boot cut is great for rectangles. Because again, you don't want it to be too, too fitted, but you also don't want it to be too flare. Wearing a skinny jean is cool for a rectangle. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you can look great still wearing a skinny jean. Make sure you put on a cute top that you can belt. Okay. <laughs> so again, you're creating that uh, definition in a waist at the same time. When it comes to any like skirts or dresses, you want to opt more for detailing. So having things that have pleats, um, a wrap dress, anything that's like flowy and kind of flows out. Um, even a straight skirt is fine. Again, a cute high waist straight skirt is great. You can put a cute belt on with a nice um, round neck top. Mm-hmm, round neck top. It could be a print, that's cool. That'll be great. Um, and something else that's really good for rectangle shapes too is doing some color blocking, okay? So for example, with the color black, if you have on some bright colors, right? Say you have on a hot pink top and you want to wear hot pink bottoms. Bam, I'm just gonna stick with the pink. So if you have a hot pink top um, and your hot pink bottoms on, what you can do to kind of break up that um, unison or that flatness of it add dimension again by adding a belt so a great option for belts is having um, an ob belt an ob belt is like one of my favorite belts that add 
anything that you need for any type of dress you can put it over a sweater you can put it over a bunch of things that's going to help elevate that look okay belts are some great accessories to have to elevate your look um even some scarves you can wear some scarves as a belt too great idea so and now that we're here <laughs> i talked about some of the do's and some of the don'ts of the rectangle again this is just foundational tips okay that does not mean it is signed sealed and delivered and you cannot stray out of any of these okay you can experiment have fun i'm just here to help guide you on your trail right in your journey of personal style okay so again i am trice of simone lynette styles um again you found me on youtube under simone lynette so make sure you subscribe make sure you like make sure you comment and let me know what resonates with you or even if you have any other um tips and tricks and ideas for the rectangle body shape don't forget to check out some of my other videos as well um and you can check me out on instagram under simone lynette styles you can check me out on pinterest as well under simone lynette and if you're ready to just you know jump head in and let me be your personal stylist and we can collaborate and work together you can check me out on my website at simone lynette styles um and click the book me that way we can get together see those services right all right y'all thank y'all for joining in i appreciate it so much love and i'll see you guys next week where i will get into the apple body shape or the round body shape so many names right all right y'all have a good one